part is only thick enough to where I can't use them. Yeah, they'll go through them. That's not bad. Lovers forward. Why are you making that face? You guys like coming to the house while we work? Let's go. Today's objective is going to be to continue just working on the stairway. So I, I have all this old shiplap in the barn, and that's what I'm going to line this with. This post right here, which is two two by fours, and that's kind of holding up that whole corner. So I'm going to jack this up, and I'm going to be building a wall that comes through here. Came too soon. Passionately falling from grace All the rules we let go here today We left here for all on display And then you turned around and Step out like it was a dream Every move like an orchestrated theme but I still feel your sweat like I'm standing in the stream Though you were gone for reasons left unexplained Sometimes we all fall in But a lot of this same... It was right about now where Sarah decided she wanted some built-in shelving at the top of the stairs, so I used all the scrap subfloor material. Keep myself from the wonder How am I to pass the day now With this mess in my head Can I turn this thing around Can I turn this thing around By the light of the moon Can I turn this thing around By the light of the moon Turn this thing, turn this thing, turn this thing By the light of this same moon Two lovers fell in, caught up tangled in the air We'll never forget you This is some old bead board that we found on the wall in one of the closets. We've decided to reuse it in this basement entryway. Lovers fell and caught up tangled in the air For the light of this same moon I will never forget you were gone And the morning came too soon The morning came too soon <clears throat> Jesus! Alright, so today's been somewhat of an interesting day. It's 10.30. Well, last night, my, my tenant called. He said that the floor was wet in his apartment, which is not a good sign usually ever. So I came over and I went to the crawl space. I looked and the floor wasn't wet in the crawl space, but I could see one of the radiators was dripping a little tiny bit. And what it is is um, they have these little tiny bleeder valves on them and it was broke, it was just leaking water. But it was interesting, it was staying on top of his carpet. I had to run and get one of these, and in order to do that, you have to shut the boiler off, uh, relieve the pressure of the boiler, and then once the pressure's off, you can replace the little nipple, and then you turn the boiler back on. Then you have to go around to each radiator on the loop and bleed each one to get the air out of the system or else you'll get an airlock and it actually won't be heating. And then what happened is I, I was all done and bleeding the system and you bleed from the top down and I got to the very bottom one, the last one, and I broke the nipple because they're so corroded you have to loosen them and that broke also and I only, I only had one new nipple so I had to actually just wrap it with Teflon tape and it, it didn't leak a lot, it was, it was a minor leak. And then this morning I had to go to Lowe's, buy more nipples, and I just went, replaced the, the one that broke, 
um, and I had to re-bleed the whole system. But we're good now. And as I was over here last night waiting, I kind of stuck around for about two hours. Um, I also wired up my new lights. I got a, a light up here you can see. There's a light way back there. Um, I have a switch right here that controls the lights. And I put a plug, I put a plug right there. Murphy sit. Can you tell the subscribers to maybe share the video if they like it? Say, yeah. Say share, share it on Facebook. Share it on Instagram. Share it wherever you can. Thank you. <laughs>